going on, y'all? Is it chunky? Are y'all loving this? Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Okay, y'all ready? Okay, so this question right here is getting juicy, y'all. It's getting juicy on the Hill fam. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, testing. one, two, three. And then is there room for Makai, too? Or? Yeah, we might have yeah. to push the table back. Yeah, I'll just scoot over, you know. <laughs> Makai Escobar! Escobar! <laughs> Get in here! <laughs> Mm -hmm. You didn't do it. Mm -hmm. Hey, Hill fam. Today's video, we have a bunch of juicy hot topic questions to answer and for you guys to get to know us a little bit better. Nosy people out there. <laughs> Nosy American <laughs> ideas, <laughs> But hey, man, we, we're looking forward to this. The questions y'all asked are pretty cool, so we're looking forward to doing this, man. And we got the kids here. And then a lot of the questions are about the whole family and some of them are for individuals. Let's get this started. Let's get into it. Let's go. Some unique ways to celebrate a special occasion as a family. What um, do we, do? we love the grub, so we'd be going out to eat. For example, for like Christmas, like it was spur of the moment, last moment, we just got an Airbnb and we stayed in Orlando, and that was like one of the best trips ever. So, like, yeah, we just do spontaneous things as we can and last minute. Mm -hmm. And we always bought them. Oh, yeah. How tall is everyone? Oh man! We need, to re we need to retake his height because he's growing <laughs> like a weed this summer. <laughs> okay, so mine is what five seven, five seven. So Charlie's yeah, five, seven. five seven. I'm five two. And then Makai. I'm five nine. What? And then got my physical. Cake is a shorty. I'm four ten or four eleven. A little shorty over here. Let's go. So we all short. <laughs> <laughs> Except for my guy. But we all got big hearts. The next question is, do the kids still play basketball? That's what the kids so are. I'm going to let them answer that. Okay. Yes, I do. I do cheerleading now. We all play basketball at home, with, at home but we're not um, pursuing anything at the moment. Makai will be um, trying out. Makai is trying out for um, his school. So that's pretty cool. Um, we'll be keeping you updated with that. And then KK's a cheerleader right now, so she's committed to that. But basketball is in our family, and she'll be playing basketball. KK's so talented with it, whether she plays for a sports team or not. Like, it, she's just amazing at it, so. Just like she's an amazing cheerleader. So when she would be playing basketball, she'd be cheering the whole time. Like, as soon as they take her off the court, she's on the side, like, God. Stop, just cheering. So that's a passion, and she's about to take over that too and have fun doing that. And then she, um, we'll revisit the basketball after we do that. But we like to live one day at a time, and we're going to support her through everything she does. But that kid's a baller for life, you know. I can say everybody knows. And we're that, so excited man. to bring you guys more content on her new cheerleading sport that she's going to be pursuing. Next question What is your guys' favorite things to do? Well, if I'm not at work. <laughs> I just love being at home with my animals and my family, and I'm such a homebody. So fun for me is being at home with my snacks and something to watch. Me, my fun thing to do is playing Warzone. Warzone. Day and night. All day, all night. Ting pong me on Twitch. Ting pong me on Xbox. Get at me. Warzone. All day. That's all I do. All day. Um, I love to fish. No matter if I'm catching fish or not, I just love to be out there and fish. It's just relaxing and fun. And yeah. Um, I'm a homebody, so I like to stay in my bed and watch TikTok all day. <laughs> and then I like to get ready and then I go outside. And another thing I like to do is practice cheer and dance. Period. Period. Love that tea. So the next question here says, how long does it take to film and edit a video? <laughs> so the filming process is always going to be different depending on what the video is about. Um, so that varies. It could be anywhere between eight minutes to almost an hour. It just depends what kind of vlog it is. Um, as far as editing, same thing, depending on how long the video is. Like the other day I was editing my birthday vlog. That was like two hours of footage I had to sort through and it literally took me like four days to edit it. So. Editing is very, very, very time consuming. You have to have a lot of patience and time, but I love doing it. So yeah, if you ever consider editing and wanting to post on YouTube, 
definitely uh, learn about iMovie. It's like the easiest program to use out there. Yeah, so we are using iMovie. And like she said, um, it took four days. She meant it took four days because you also have to find the time to do this between parenting, jobs, friends, yes. animals, um, family, things that come up in your day. It's hard to just sit down with the computer and actually function. And then you got to hand, handle life too. But she's always on it. Yes. Trust me, we work hard with she works hard. You got to come up with the title, the hashtags, the thumbnail, mm -hmm. um, going through each little scene and cutting out, you know, mistakes or whatever. And then adding the music, the intro, the outro. There's just so much that goes into it. So it's great. It's fun. It's a lot of work, but it does take time. Y'all better thank her, yo. Thank her. Right now, thank her in the comments, yo. <laughs> because she's the one who makes this no possible. No problem. I love doing it. We all make it possible, but the work she puts in, man, trust me, it's, it's tedious. All right, next question. Okay, y'all ready? <laughs> okay, so this question right here is getting juicy, y'all. It's getting juicy on the Hill fam. All right, so the next question is, do the kids have a boyfriend or girlfriend? Wow. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. I have a talking stage, but, you know, sad talking stages are always in my life, so. Nope. No boyfriend. So, Makai's almost going to be 16, and KK just turned 14. So, you know, they're at the age where they're going to start being interested in people, and. You know, we support them as long as the person's good for them and they have to go through Charlie. So question? Yeah. Hold on. Um, how do you handle haters? Well, let me just answer this one for you guys. <laughs> the haters are gonna hate. Okay, that's it. Yeah, haters gonna hate, y'all. Like you really can't do nothing about them. We just ignore them. Well, they ignore them. There's a couple times where they got to my head, but you know, we're not gonna we're not gonna speak on that. But um yeah, haters gonna hate, so like yeah. I would say I wanna I wanna I wanna okay, like we hardly have haters and if it's haters like it's usually someone who's a troll anyway, so they don't have any picture. They've been on for three, four years. They don't have no picture, no nothing. They just, their job is just to hate. I don't mind that. And even if there is somebody who hates it's on us, it just like drives us. Like we see things that, and most of it don't make no sense. And it's fights within their selves maybe. So I don't look at it and I say, hey, you know what? Maybe that person has an issue with himself, you know? So I'm not going to really sweat and be like, Oh, look, they're talking about it. I don't care like that. We got each other, and we're happy, and we're glad that we can bring the people who enjoy the show, the show. We're not worried about who don't like the show. You're going to have people who don't like the show. It comes with the territory. But, yeah, haters going to be there. And we're cool with that. We know it's going to come. Who cares? Yeah, basically what KK said is you got to just ignore your haters yeah. because at the end of the day, they're low-key just a fan, and... Mm -hmm. Keep watching. Yeah, if if you if you got the time to hate on me and go through all that drama and you're talking about me, thank you, thank you so much. Keep watching the show. I hope, I hope your heart heals, honey. Yeah, keep watching the show. Next right? question. No, no, y'all. Is it chunky? Are y'all loving chunky? this? Wait, 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 wait. How y'all liking it so far? I want to know. Is it juicy? Is this juicy enough for you? Hey, if you got any questions that you can think of for the next one, drop it on there, we're gonna jot it down. Mm -hmm. So next time you're thinking of some man, they should have asked this. And We're an open book, guys, so yeah. feel free to ask us anything. Bring it, let's go. People wanna know, is there any sibling rivalry, or do you guys get along most of the time, or? We get along all the time. We get along a lot. We're like twins. Yeah, We're I'm a witness, guys, they are like best friends, and it's so sweet. I've been around kids my whole life and stuff and I just think it's so sweet their relationship because a lot of brothers and sisters that I see they fight a lot so it's really cool seeing them be yeah, used they, to, we used to fight a lot whenever we were like younger but that's just funny, like younger it? kids like you know hey they they would never fight in front of me you hear that they, they'll, tell, they'll both tell you right now 
they never, if they could be fighting, they could be ready to kill each other. And they will play that off when I come in the room. They'll play it off like man, even uh -huh. They told me one that day, one day about that, and I was like, "That's crazy." They said, "You know, we always fight, but we'll never fight in front of you." I was like, "That's crazy." That really won my heart right there. These some good kids. Yeah, I never see them fight yeah. ever. Yeah, I don't think we've ever fought in front of Dad. Nope, they don't like never fight. They might, they might do a little big, like, like a little bickering, cause she crazy. But um, that's it. I just look at him and be like, she. But we don't do that no more. We don't oh, fight at guys. all. <laughs> no, we don't fight at all now. All you women crazy. So I just like, Makai, just let it go. They all crazy. <laughs> the next question is, what's our nationalities and where are we from? So if you guys watched our 23andMe video, you'll see that we did our ancestry test and it turns out I am part Egyptian, mostly Jordanian, and I'm Jewish. Yeah, so that was 50% European. European. So I'm like half Middle Eastern, half European. And I'm from Florida. I've lived here my whole life. I'm European, so Portuguese and Spanish, and I'm also African descent. So my dad's African and my mom's European. Um, I was born and raised in Honolulu, Hawaii, actually Waipahu, Hawaii. Honolulu is actually the like business district. I am from Waipahu, Hawaii, born and raised, and I left Hawaii when I was 21 years old, stayed in Georgia, then I moved to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and then for Fort Lauderdale, I came to the Treasure Coast. And now I have these guys, they're from the Treasure Coast, but I'll let you, them tell. Everything he is plus the white. <laughs> Do the same thing as me. All right, shut up. I want to say it myself. Yeah. Um, I'm Caucasian, African American, and Puerto Rican. Period. And I'm from Port St. Lucie, Florida. All right, guys. Next question. Who inspires you? Ooh, that's a good one. I would say my number one inspiration in life would probably be Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. Like, I watched his whole career. I was a big Allen Iverson fan, by the way. Kobe is a very big inspiration to get out here and just do it, man, and just get it done. So I would say Kobe Bryant was the Mamba mentality, man. I practice it now. Every day I get up, my knees hurt, and I'm like, pop, back out there. Let's go. So I say Mamba mentality to Kobe Bryant. I'll say myself. Hey, because what i go through is what's like what i go through in my past is what's going to determine what happens in my future so i inspire myself Love that is such a good answer that's what i was going to say at first that's a great answer son i raised them. <laughs> <laughs> um, i feel like anna mac inspires me <laughs> she knows how to clock that tea baby and she, I don't know, she just is that girl. I don't know. And her fashion is just nice. She look cute. And yeah, I just love everything about her. And she's funny. So yeah, that's who inspires me. And myself. So, yeah. And who is that? Um, it's this girl on Baddies. Uh, if y'all don't watch Baddies, tap in. <laughs> Tap in, baby. <laughs> buy that subscription. Cause I was like, who's Anna Mac? I don't watch that. Hey, girl, you better watch Daddy's girl. You yeah. heard her. You heard it on the Hill Fam, okay? Watch that, Daddy. You watch that, Daddy, girl. Not just us here. It's but what's her name? Yeah. Anna Mac. We're gonna have to watch Baddies now because I want to know who this person is. And she also shows out for the itty bitty community. Yes, cause I'm tiny, y'all. Like I am so tiny. And she is just so pretty, and she really shows out for us. Like, girl, yes. <laughs> Shouts out. Anyways, yeah. It's your turn, Sarah. Um, so I know a lot of people say that she's crazy and stuff, but I'm talking about when she was in her prime, like the early 2000s. Britney Spears, not only her career and how iconic she is and her music, how she's like really touched me and I love some of her songs, like it's basically like gives me nostalgia and I just love her music, I love her personality. 
I'm talking about Britney when she was in her prime, okay? But the Britney today on the Instagram, the one that's being portrayed, she inspires me because after everything her family put her through, she's still showing up and to me that's beautiful. And she's a strong, badass woman. Other than Britney, I was gonna say my other inspiration, like most importantly, is God because he is amazing. He blesses me, he's faithful, he's just an awesome father. So. And, and that's yeah, not crazy. fair. We all know that God is the inspiration. We all know that. So yeah, shouts out with all all of us praise this man. We praise this man. Okay, we're gonna change it. No, I'm just joking. We ain't gonna do that today. But um, yeah, we uh, what, what we're gonna say? No, I'm just joking. Um, like I don't push it on them either. Like I don't push it on anybody. Still pray every day. They still, uh, they know because I I pray, and so they pray. They was raised praying, and these kids like, why hey, can't we go to church? Hey, God, God, they write, God, God. We are, we rich, because you know why? We always smile and having fun doing stuff, and we, we are thankful that God allows us to wake up and be in this beautiful earth that he has provided for us for this right now. So God has got us to where we got right here. Right? We all been through some things. Our story, we got stories, okay? We both been through some things, but you know what? Through God, we found happiness and we found each other. We found family, Ohana, and we found, I found myself, I didn't know myself, and through God I found myself one day, a long time ago, before them. But anyway, you'll hear my story one day. Right now this is fun and the questions is fun, but God first, y'all. Put God first and you can achieve anything. Well, I'll give a shout out, a shout out to everybody who watches the show. Shout out to everybody who's been our day ones. It's been a year as of today. Yeah. It's been a year so as of today. Happy one year. Happy one year, everybody, for the Hill Fam show. Hey, it's your guys' celebration, too, because you guys are a part of the family. We're, We're just, just like, like you. you. So don't forget to like, subscribe, drop a comment, and don't forget, hit the notification button so you know when we drop in something for y'all.